What is going on guys, Greggles TV. I have a Galaxy Note 9 here and it's running Android Pi, also known as Samsung One UI. And I wanted to go through the do not disturb mode and it's gonna be very similar to past versions of Galaxy phones and maybe some other Android phones as well. But I kinda of wanted to go through it in case you were unfamiliarized with it. So let's do that. And what we're gonna do is swipe down from the top twice and then we're gonna look for do not disturb. I have it on my second page, but maybe you have it on your first page. And here it is, do not disturb. So what you wanna do is I'm gonna turn it on first. So tapping it, it's gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna press and hold on it. And it brings this uh, other menu up that gives you a lot more options to play around in. And there's tons of options in here. So first of all, you can turn it on now. I can turn it off and on. So I could have just clicked on it and turned it on, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You can also turn on as scheduled. So if you turn that on, you do not disturb will automatically turn on at start time. So I can click on here and I can set, set a start time. So maybe I just want it Monday through Friday because maybe I work a job. And then uh, maybe I want it to start at, I don't know, 8 p.m. Well, maybe 9 p.m. And then you want your, oops, I should have stayed in there. And then you want your end time. So to click end, and then maybe you want it to stop at 6 a.m. And that's it. And now from 9 to 6 a.m., I'm not gonna get any notifications on here. Well, it depends, because you can go really deep into it, and we're gonna do that. Um, you have exceptions. Let's go allow exceptions. Now exceptions are, it's gonna still play your alarms, it's still gonna play your media, uh, touch sounds, I have that turned off. You can do calls from, so if you want it to override any of the do not disturb modes, you can go in here and maybe just want your contacts or your favorite contacts only can go through it, or maybe everybody can call through it. Same thing from messages, you can set that and go really in depth to how you want it to be certain people or just your favorites or everybody or none at all. Repeat callers, it says allow calls when they are received from the same phone number more than once within 15 minutes. Maybe it's somebody that's trying to reach out to you. Most telemarketers don't call multiple times, so maybe that's a good option to keep on there. That way you don't have to play around calls from certain people. You can also do events, allow notifications from calendar events and tasks. Maybe that's important to you. Reminders, if you have a reminder set. So those are exceptions that you can set. So it's, it's kind of nice you have that much customization within uh, the exceptions. The other big thing in here is hide notifications. So I have mine on at hide all because sometimes you make videos and if I'm making a video, sometimes I don't want a notification to pop through. It makes me have to stop the video, cut it, and then jump to a different part of the video when that happens. It's a big pain in the butt for sure. So maybe that's someone like you and you want that to you know happen or maybe you just don't want to see them all. So I have them set it hide off. So if I turn it off, I can go in here and be a little bit more, you know, selective on what I have. So maybe I want when the screen is off, do not turn on the screen or no LED indicator, meaning that little, you know, light that bubbles up. Hide app icon badges, hide from notification list, don't pop up notifications, hide status bar icons. I just feel like if you're gonna have, you know, do not disturb turned on, you should pretty much, I feel like, have that hide all of them for the most part. And other than that, you can go in here, like I said, and go into exceptions and maybe customize it that way. Maybe calls will pop through for certain people that will override that um, hide notifications list. But it, that's, it's really that simple um, to turn on and, and use do not disturb. I like it. So maybe, like I said, maybe, maybe you want the schedule. For me, I don't really need a schedule because I don't currently have a nine to five job. So having, um, it, a schedule is really not important to me, so I definitely probably you know keep that off. But otherwise, it's really easy to use. It's a cool thing to have too. Um, having the notifications be hidden, I love it. Um, other than that, guys, that is your do not disturb. It's that easy to set up and use, and you already have it now on your Galaxy phone. Um, this is just showing you it from a Android Pie Samsung One Yacht, One UI perspective. Let me know what your thoughts are, if you think it looks better or different or the same in the comments down below. Let me know if you also use uh, the Do Not Disturb mode or not in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you down the road. Peace.